Hello there, my beautiful friend. So many of you guys probably know this, but I have put together quite a few mock palettes or faux makeup collections in my time here on YouTube. And today's video is going to be yet again, another faux palette. This time I put together a lemon lime Sprite seven up themed eyeshadow palette. So if you are interested in seeing what I put together here then go ahead and keep on watching and let's jump into it. So I had an epiphany a few nights ago when I was laying in bed watching Kids Baking Championship like the old woman that I am and I basically got the idea to put together a lemon lime palette. Now I know a lot of people recently have been wanting to see green eyeshadow palettes and yellow eyeshadow palettes. I think for the summertime and the spring it's just like a springy type of color. I mean obviously grass is green. What do we associate grass with? Spring. So it makes sense. So for today's video I went ahead and put together a little makeup palette here that I am calling the Lemon Lime Soda Palette. Now many of you guys in the past have seen my videos like this before. I've done a few different types of fruit themed collections and just, I don't know, little ideas that interest me. I've put together quite a few mock palettes in my time, but one thing that I always get asked is can you pick out dupes from your collection to show us actual eyeshadows like the ones that you've replicated basically on a computer? So I went ahead and did that today for you guys and we'll get into this after I show you my little computer design that I put together, but these are the real life dupes for my little lemon lime palette. But without further ado, this is what the front of the palette would look like. Now obviously this is called the Lemon Lime Soda Pop Eyeshadow Palette and honestly this was inspired by Lemon Lime Soda. So I've done a mock Too Faced Strawberries and Cream, I believe it was, collection way back in the day, like a year ago when I first started my channel and I decided to make a little mascot, kind of like how Too Faced has the Sweet Peach mascot. Well I made a little strawberry mascot and ever since then I just want to make mascots for like every little faux eyeshadow palette that I make so you know we went with the fruit theme here again so I just had to put a cute or creepy depending on who's looking at it little mascot on here and I know a lot of people aren't into like the cutesy fruity type of things that go on in the makeup industry but I love it I'm like a child at heart I still love Sanrio like to the point where I have Sanrio characters on my car like legitimate stickers on my car. But nonetheless, we have Mr. Lime, this cute little guy over here, and his wife, Mrs. Lemon, down in the corner. But now let's go ahead and jump right on into the inside of the palette here. So I know you might be thinking, um, that's a little bit bright for February, but this palette was designed with the idea that we're going into spring soon, and then after spring, it's gonna be summer. So I wanted it to be a brighter and more warm and inviting type of palette that we don't see very often. Now we do see greens, not all the time in the beauty industry, but we do see them popping up here and kind of there more often now. But honestly, we used to never see green, like green was nowhere to be found. So I'm just happy to see green popping up kind of here and there every so often versus literally seeing it nowhere. But obviously based on the name, the lemon lime palette, I had to include only lemon and lime type shades. So hence why this palette is so bright. And of course, you already know, I took the liberty of naming all of these shades after lemon and lime themes. But let me stop talking your ear off here and let's get into the shades. So the first shade that I chose was a chartreuse matte, which is like a cross between a neon yellow and a neon green. She is super, super bright and intense, and she is a matte shade, and her name is Zest, because she's very zesty. So the second shade in the first row of the palette is called Key Lime Pie, which obviously is a huge lime dessert that everyone knows, although I've never personally had it. I've had the Key Lime Pie yogurts, and those are freaking fantastic, so I can't even imagine what regular Key Lime Pie tastes like. It's probably like the best thing in the world, and one day, one day I'm gonna have to try it. But Key Lime Pie is one of my personal favorite types of eyeshadows to wear that honestly I don't wear that often, but when I do, I get so many compliments and I just feel so, I don't know, interesting with my makeup for the day. But this shadow is a green gold duochrome with a little bit of micro sparkle kind of thrown into it because you know I love my sparkle. And the third shade in the first row is called Lemon Shortbread and it is a yellow mustard matte, which Lemon Shortbread is also a very delicious item. That involves lemons, of course. Moving on to the second row. The first shade in the second row is called Fizz, and this is an iridescent gold that has a bit of a blue shift to it. You know when you see those golds in palettes that are so white gold and so foiled that they almost have like a blue tinge to it? That's exactly what Fizz is. Just imagine what I have on my brow bone and my inner corner, just in a little pan form. The second shade in the second row is called Lemonade. Of course, we had to name something Lemonade in here, 
but it is a matte pastel yellow and this is the type of shade that I used to always start my transition looks out with when I did orange and red eye looks. I used to only do like orange and red eye looks and then somehow I ventured off the path and went into the purple and pink department of makeup and I never came back. I've been stuck there ever since. And last in the second row is the shade Fresh Squeezed, which is a matte muted apple green. And for the final row, the first shade is called Lime Spritzer, which is a matte pastel green. The second shade is Citrus, a foiled green with some micro shimmer sprinkled in. And last, but certainly not least, Lemon Drop, which is a foiled yellow with a little bit of yellow micro shimmer kind of thrown in there as well. So as promised, I went ahead and pulled out some single eyeshadows from my collection that basically match up with what I put together in my faux palette. Now I did have to reach into two different regular eyeshadow palettes and pull out two shades that matched the most to me to what I put together in the Lemon Lime Soda Pop palette because apparently I am lacking in the department of green and yellow eyeshadows and I didn't really have that many to choose from. And a lot of the ones that I did have were like exact dupes of each other which at this point is honestly something that I'm just used to because I always end up somehow buying the same exact color like over and over and over again as far as my single eyeshadows go which is a terrible habit that I should probably stop. But starting out with the dupes that I picked out for the Lemon Lime Soda Pop palette, the first shade that I chose was this beautiful bright yellow matte, which is called Capri by Davina. And Capri dupes out the shade Zest from my palette, which was the Chartreuse Matte. Next up over in the center here, we have one of the eyeshadows that I had to borrow from one of my eyeshadow palettes, which was the BH Cosmetics Festival palette. And this is the shade Neon. As you can see, it's a beautiful kind of goldeny green. And that was supposed to be a dupe of the shade Key Lime Pie, but I also wanted to include the Linda Halberg Enchanted Secrets palette. The shade Ethereal is exactly what I was going for here. This is the most gorgeous green and gold with a little bit of like a pink red thing going on in the background, duochrome. When I was putting this palette together I knew that I had to include a shade like ethereal here so that's basically what I did and finally up top here we have the shade Tiki by Colourpop which is a dupe for lemon shortbread so moving on to the second row of dupes here I have this shade gold digger from Kristen Lee cosmetics which I've mentioned it a few times but I have been loving her eyeshadows lately but that's besides the point but this is a dupe for the shade fizz and this is the most beautiful iridescent white gold that almost has a bit of a blue kind of hue to it and that's because it's so beaming and bright that it gives that blue undertone, which is like my favorite kind of brow bone and inner corner highlight. We can never get bright enough up in this region. The smack dab in the center here is the shade Lemon Cream from Sydney Grace Cosmetics, which is obviously a beautiful pale pastel lemony yellow shade. And this is a dupe for the shade Lemonade in my little faux palette, which was also a pale pastel yellow. The final shade in the second row is from Lixi Beauty, and this is the shade Green Apple, which is a dupe for the shade Fresh Squeezed from my little faux palette which was a matte green apple green. So jumping down to the bottom row here, this first shade over on the corner is from Strobe Cosmetics, and this is actually from their Creepy Cute palette. This is the shade Take a Hint, and to me, this is like a green apple green, but it's a little bit lighter, a little bit more neon, and a little bit more pastel, of course, because the Creepy Cute palette is full of pastels. And one black eyeshadow, which makes absolutely no sense in my mind, but Okay, Strobe Cosmetics. And this was a dupe for Lime Spritzer in the Faux palette. Now, jumping over to this middle guy, this is the shade Alpine from Cleonid. This is the most beautiful, like hands down, the prettiest green foiled eyeshadow I've ever seen in my entire life. It almost has a bit of like a teal undertone, but it's definitely still green. So Alpine is a dupe for the shade Citrus in my little Faux palette, but unfortunately, I didn't have any greens that have that yellow undertone that limes technically do. This is more of a teal green. It's more of like an evergreen forest tree type green. So I just had to work with what I had, but the shadow was absolutely stunning nonetheless. And wrapping it up here with the most lemonade shade of the entire bunch here, this little fella in the corner here is from Sydney Grace Cosmetics. And this is a beautiful metallic bright, almost neon-esque yellow. And this is the shade Sunbeam. And this is a dupe for Lemon Drop in the Lemon Lime Soda Pop palette. But that is everything that I have for you guys today. As far as the Lemon Lime Soda Pop palette goes. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing this palette and seeing the dupes. I hope the dupes were helpful because I know so many of you guys have been asking for me to do that. And I finally got my lazy butt out of bed and put the dupes together. But please do let me know down in the comments below what did you think of the Lemon Lime Soda Pop palette and 
please give me your criticism and your feedback but don't be mean I like the palette I think it's cute I know it might be a little bright for some but I think that it's fun I think it's perfect for the up-and-coming warm months and warm weather which I cannot freaking wait for because it's been like 30 degrees here in Washington and I'm just ready for some sun please but with that being said if you are not already subscribed and you enjoyed the video then what the heck are you doing if you want to see more of what I got going on here then I would absolutely love it if you would hit that subscribe button and if you enjoyed the video I would also love it if you gave me a big old thumbs up I appreciate you thank you for spending your time here today but with that being said I hope that you were having an absolutely amazing and beautiful day wherever you are and I hope to see you next time bye